What's up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist here with Gershwan. And we're back at it again, answering your questions in another episode of For the Greater Wall. Now this is a special edition of the Greater Wall because it turns out one of us couldn't put out a video today. Uh, tis tis, but shit, this stuff is hard. Yeah, like... You, you might be saying, oh, you're just reading off 4chan. Oh, you're reading off the codex. Oh, you're reading off the wiki. No, there's way more to it than that, brother man. Mm -hmm. Um... And it's exhausting, and that's why we probably couldn't come up with a yeah. video. So shame on one of us. <laughs> um, so again, guys, ask questions here because we'll answer them oh, in the yeah. next one, whenever that may be. So uh, if we do answer your question and you don't hear from us, that's because it's a space saver, I guess. Yes. So think of it as this video is going into the warp and we don't know when it's gonna come out. Mogar4 says, why do main characters, Space Marines, do not wear helmets in combat? Are they so augmented that they don't need it? No, nah, they just don't wear helmets because they don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. They're too badass in their own right to just look like everyone else. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta show off their little what are they called? Nuds? Yeah. <laughs> on their heads? Implants they get? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, think of it as like this. If you've seen Suicide Squad, you know that Will Smith's character, Deadshot, wears the mask. Now, obviously, you want to know, oh, that's Will Smith. So that's why they don't give him the mask the whole movie. Uh, it's the same reason. Well, that and um, kind of like in 300, where um, he's like... He drops his uh, shield, he drops his spear, oh, yeah. he takes off his shirt, and he's like, he takes off his helmet because he can see better. That's what the uh, captains probably feel like. They, like. they take off their helmet so that they can get the full, full scope of what's going scope on. Scope of what's going on and feel badass and whatnot. And it's also like a, a way of showing that you're better than them. It's like, hey, I don't need this equipment. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Mm -hmm. And they do come. Uh, how hard does a space marine punch? Like, watch the mountain fight on Game of Thrones, and is that pretty much it? I think we've answered this in a previous uh, episode, but basically, um, think of um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, and he was on when he was on steroids. <laughs> now multiply that by ten, and give him a boxing glove made out of complete brick, and then let him punch you. That's what a space marine's punch feels like. Yeah. Which is hard. Hard <laughs> as a rock when you touch him. Um, uh, this one's by Lozian. This is pretty interesting. Can a space marine change chapters? No. You are indoctrinated into the cult of whatever chapter you are put into unless you break off into and create another chapter of yours, a successor chapter. Uh, or you, <laughs> um, you get indoctrinated into the Death Watch. Exactly. And again, the reason for that is the Death Watch is like the what are, in Game of Thrones. What is it called? Oh, the Night's Watch. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's like, hey, we need people that are good at fighting aliens. Join us. Yes. But in Game of Thrones, it's like, oh. Well, it's, I'm, like in the, in the past past, not oh, present day not, Game of Thrones. Yeah, way back then. Yeah. 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 Because in present day Game of Thrones, it's like, oh, you're a murderer? You're either going to die or go join the wall. Yep. So you go join the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, next question comes from... Our, uh, nope, I've already read that one. Oh, this one's by Wallace. Should I learn to paint models with cheap brushes before I use my sable brushes? Yes. Um, the reason for that is cleanliness. Like you're gonna learn how to maintain, a, you know, your brush clean through the dirty ones or through the crappy ones. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because you don't want to mess up your great, awesome, expensive brushes right away. That's right. Don't do it. Don't do it. Put your back into it. Um, yeah. Continue. Because okay, I don't have any. <laughs> All right. Um. Could you guys do a video on Sevatar, the first captain of the Night Lords? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that was the guy that first said, like, what do you say? Something about the Emperor, and it became like a big war cry. 
Oh, death to the false god, something like that. So yeah, we'll, we'll get on him. Next question comes from Bruva Michael. Orcs believe that red goes faster, which means that when orcs fighting against blood ravens, then go blood ravens faster? <laughs> I guess, if they believe it, yeah. If enough orcs believe it, yeah. And we're on the same topic of orcs, so this one's by Awesome Palmer. When Gork and Morg come back, what do you think will happen? And he thinks they're gonna zap them into a life like Valhalla, where each kill that they get makes them bigger, and when they die, they do it all over again. Maybe. I don't think that Gork and Morg are ever coming back, um, because they're already, like, they're, they're gods, they're deities, right? So they're, they're not gonna come back. Bible Man asks, Do you think that Chaos God knowingly sent Horus to his death and nerfed his powers after he injured him, the Emperor, so that the Emperor could kill him, since it brought era of war, oppression, violence, and instability to the Imperium, and by extension, to the whole galaxy? Yeah, possibility. Yeah, I think so, yep. Um, especially once if you believe the whole cabal theory um, that there's two outcomes either the destruction of humanity or the what we have now so good question uh, Sean Gold what is the lore behind the Knights of the Raven and the Black Guard you are not the first to ask this um, check out our previous videos because we may already have a lore on the topic that you mentioned or if not stay tuned because a lot of people ask it so we will bring it Michael asks um, hey can you update your channel window it's quite old cringy you grown since you can do better by channel window do you mean like our trailer video uh, for like yeah. When you, yeah we we got rid of that one already now if you go into our channel what you see is the angry Marines video because who doesn't like the angry Marines it's everybody Dragon Warhammer asks, what if the Eldar had extended alliance with the Imperium? That's pretty interesting, because if, if it's anyone, I see the Eldar being the ones to help out humanity. Um, if it is, though, I feel like the Eldar are just going to use them, because again, the Eldar see themselves as being above everybody. So they'll probably help them out, but for their own gains. And right. eventually they're going to break ties and... Tra! Like that. They keep a chopper in the trunk. That's right. <laughs> Next question. Uh, this one's by Matthew Westhoven. Do Primarchs have all the same augmentations like normal space marines? For example, that acid spitting gland? No. Uh, not all Primarchs have the same uh, augmentations. Lehman Russ had the uh, what helix. Um, Canis helix. Canis helix. Sanguinius had whatever made him have wings. Yeah, well, that was the radiation planet that he got dropped in. Oh, really? I thought it was like his own special augmentation. As far as I know, well, lore-wise, that's what they're going with. It might have been retconned. GW never lets us know. But he did have a thirst for blood as well, right? Or was it just his people? I think that was just his peeps. Oh. That was because of the uh, imperfection in uh, his uh, gene seed. And uh, supposedly the Black Rage is the anger that all his uh, legion felt when Horus killed Sanguinius. Yep, I remember that one. Uh, next question. Uh, Will your questions heal in stasis? <laughs> Th this was asked by Lashrath. Technically, nothing's supposed to happen in stasis, but just like Gilliman, they are. <laughs> Listener 2920. What if the Tyranids invaded a demon world? Could they conquer it? A demon world has to be in the warp. Right, and Tyranids have shadow of the warp. Hmm. It's like an immovable wall and an unstoppable force. What happens? Yeah, I think if, the, like we've said before, if the Tyranids entered into the warp, the warp would, it, it would be like, like a water bubble. It would just kind of flow to the top. Mm. Got like um, water and oil and kind of like mm -hmm. separate themselves. Did but, I say water bubble? I mean an air bubble inside water. It flows to the top. You did say it. Yeah. So like the Tyranids would get to the planet and then be like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then the, the high fleet would just fly out of the warp. 
Jason McBavis. Why the flying hell doesn't the hip hypocrisy harvest gene seed? Oh, apothecary, he probably meant. Okay. okay, why the flying hell doesn't the apothecary harvest gene seed before space marines go to battle? Think space marine sperm bank. Because <laughs> that's not cool. Yeah, you want to you wanna have somebody in the battlefield, like, seeing somebody's leg being blown off, and it's like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. And I think the space marine dies if you harvest the yeah, gene seed. So. so, yeah. This one's by Luke Kelly. Do you guys think Games Workshop is going to Age of Sigmar 40k? Because I hope not. I hate Age of Sigmar. I think certain elements of Age of Sigmar are going to transfer over to 40k. Mm -hmm. I really hope one of them is the free codexes. Uh, no more codexes would mean wonders. More, more money to buy more models. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like the whole point values going away thing, but I heard that that kind of got yeah, balanced. I think it got, yeah, I think it, it either came back in a way or they balanced it out. Yeah. Um, but lore wise, um, they've said it that they're not gonna, like, the there's no end of time. Yeah, there's no end of times. This progression that's occurring in 40k is not leading to an end of times. They're saying it's more of a, like, a doomsday counter. Think of the clock moving, like, one minute closer to midnight. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Philip H. asks, what if the machine spirit became a full-powered AI? So the machine spirit, if it's real, uh, is much better than an AI. It's a god. So... Think of it like a, like, kind of like a soul. Like, god, godly, ethereal-istic. Yep. This was by Madara Uchiha Mizukage. Do the chaos gods even want to win? Magnus the Red said something like, the thing that chaos gods fear most is being bored. So if they win, uh, wouldn't the universe be quite boring for them? I see your point. Um, it's difficult to even conceive a, a god winning because they don't have time and space, or they're, they're not confined to time and space. So what does that even mean? Because we're existing now, so if the, if the god wins tomorrow, but he doesn't see time as a restriction, then yesterday did he win? Is he winning now? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. It's like a loophole. It's like, I, cause I mean, I feel like it's called chaos for a reason. There is no stagnation in chaos. There's always, you know, this guy's winning, this guy's winning, oh, this guy's winning. So because of that, because they are chaos god, there is no winning for them. That's their, in, their, their penitence. Mm -hmm. You can be godly and omnipotent, but that is your downfall. Connor Sovian asks, is there, is there even a possibility for any of the traitor legions rejoining the Imperium? Um, what do you think? What was the question? <laughs> do you think that any of the traitor legions can rejoin the Imperium? No. I don't think anybody would let someone that was once a Chaos follower come back because that'll be seen as heresy or they could probably be uh, lying and be trying to recruit other guys into their chaotic you know worshiping ways by saying oh we're good now I agree which is part of the reason why the um, blood ravens had to switch their entire names from the Emperor's children to the blood ravens spoiler alert sorry the blood ravens are Emperor's children <gasps> Uh, and then he continues to ask, what chapter currently, if there was some form of secondary heresy, would join Chaos? Um, there's a ton of traitor or chapters going to Chaos constantly. The Kark, no. The Bad App War. Remember the Bad App War? Mm -hmm. The Celestial Lions, I think. They became bad. Um, there's like five. Mantis Warriors, I think. Yeah. There's like five yeah. chapters that went bad during the Bad App Wars. Those were not good times. Mm -mm. Those were scary. Now, going off of your question, what first founding chapter do you think would be most likely to go to chaos? So like Ultramarines, Space Wolves, that kind of thing. Mm, what do you think? I'll give me some time to think. I would say probably the Dark Angels, because there's already a bunch of suspicion as to you know them being, um, like the Unforgiven are actually chaos followers. And uh, it would make sense, but in my opinion, that's probably the closest. I think Blood Ravens 
or no, sorry, blood, blood angels. Blood angels, and the reason for that is because of the red thirst and the, the, the black, black rage. rage. They're feeding corn. That's right. I mean, blood for the blood god. Uh, so unknowingly, they would <laughs> succumb to that. I feel if that ever were to happen, or at least close to happen, uh, Sanguinius would somehow come back. The Sanguinor or uh, Dante would like get him in check. Yeah. And he has one last question: Can the Imperium ever win? No. GW would lose sales. Yeah. If any, if any one race wins, that's like, oh, I guess it doesn't matter if I play Tau because they're never gonna win. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're right. Yep. And it's like, oh, if I do play the winning race, I'm always, you know, I'm the best. If I lose here, it doesn't change anything because I'm just going to win the war. Yeah. Yep, yep. Pyro Skies asks, are there actual Neko humans in 40k? Are they, are they allowed in the Imperium? And could there possibly be, possibly be a whole regiment of Nekos? Uh, so yeah, they're called furries. <laughs> I think in our, what, app human video, you talked about them a little bit. Because you got like your, uh, your Ogrins, your Rattlings, and then you've got your, uh, I forgot what they were called. But basically they're furries, they're like humans that look like animals. So yes, it is possible, but we'll probably never see it. Cool. I don't know who the Nekos are, so, yeah. It's, it's like people that like dress up as like cats and stuff. Oh, okay. They dress up where they are. Well, a little bit of both. Okay. Shane Kendrick. How does the Xenos Cabal create perpetuals like John Grammaticus? And is there a difference between them and natural perpetuals like, um, old person? Yeah, old person, or, uh, Saint Alinius, Alinius Pius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's lore on both of these guys currently out. So if you want to learn more about them, head on over to our 40 facts. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if there's a difference between being made into a perpetual and being born one. Um, the verdict is still out. Yeah. We'll, we'll, once we ask that again later and we might have an answer for you. Uh, Matt Raska, how do you guys spell your names? His is pretty simple. Sound, Alchemist. Alchemist. And mine's pretty simple. Gersh, one. So it's G-U-R-S-H space O-N-E. S-O-U-N-D-A-L-C-H-E-M-I-S-T. I think, what's that? What did you spell? My name. I-N-D-B-B-B. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tanith first. How many demons are there in 40K? Like seven. Yeah, around. Give or take. Yeah, sometimes there's a little bit more, sometimes there's a little bit less. It all really depends mm -hmm. on how I'm feeling that day. Uh, and then last question has to be a good one. So I'm going to skip these because <laughs> you're talking about gay shit. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. Luis David Martinez Cortez. Ooh, that's a mouthful. That's a stupid question. So we're going to skip him. <laughs> he has, do you like Smurfs? I've never watched the Smurfs. Uh, yeah, I used to when I was little, but like... Yeah. Calf 9017. Why is it only Space Marine units, not Space Commando units? They have Space Marines have commandos. They're called the uh, what are they called? The tenth, the oh, tenth company. The the, the 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 scouts. Scouts. There you go. Yeah. They're basically mini Rambo's. Yeah. Uh. Echo 9 Hotel. Would it be possible for an extremely powerful Psyker to cha challenge one of the gods of chaos? Any of the gods. It's possible, but it's like... You're challenging a god, you're gonna lose. Yeah. The Emperor tried to challenge him, look what happened to him. He's sitting in a chair. For the rest of his life. Uh, think of it this way. Can Hercules beat Zeus? Probably not. Probably not. And again, Hercules or Zeus did, did beat his dad. <laughs> That's true. So, you know what? Just don't play with guns or drugs, kids. That's right. 
Thank don't don't beat your dad either. Don't beat your dad, yeah. Thank you so much for sending those questions our way. Please again comment down below with more questions. If you guys want to support us, jump on over to Patreon, a simple dollar, um, which is less than what most people pay pay for super glue nowadays. Um, and that's once a month. That helps us out a lot. It helps us out tremendously. Uh, if not, it's cool. Just like, comment, and share. That's right. Thank you guys for bringing us to 50k subscribers or 60k. What depends on whenever you're seeing this video. Right. And as always, that's all we got for you guys. Thanks for those questions. I'm the Sound Alchemist. Kirsch one. The window, flying colors poster, the room, the lights, the oxygen. Is signing out. Oh.